extreme. Them gains, extreme. Shit we see, extreme. Hey. You wanna know about corruption? Hey. Well, listen to what hey. I see. An algorithmic hey. money making, taking hey. fucking fucking scheme. And if hey. you let it, you'll get it. Hey. It'll gut you to you bleed. Hey. A lot of y'all get fucked hey. by the bucket, yet you think it's free. But yeah, it's me. We're a team. We're extreme. What's up, y'all? What's up, Extreme Gains family? I'm Chuck, and this is Extreme Gains. I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is or ever will be financial advice. Please do not take it as such. Today is Sunday, fun day, Super Bowl Sunday, February 12th, 2023. This is my AMC, GME, and SPY weekly update and preparation video where I go over everything that I am personally looking at and looking for with all three tickers moving into this upcoming week. I do that by going over some of my regulars, my snake elgo method for all three tickers, and some technical levels and setups. So with all of that said, let's dig in. I hope you all had a great week in the market, and I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Diving right into the charts, y'all. Currently on your screen is AMC and my current intro week snakes. AMC finished all of last week, fulfilling its red day prior to intro week snake, absolutely dead on as you see it there friday alone down 8.58 percent in regular trading hours and then down an additional 0.2 percent in after hours ending the week trading at 489 the current red day prior to intraweek snake like i said is right there as of last week in the weekly update and prep video it was projecting a downside of somewhere between 35 and 40 percent and i believe 38 percent of this fulfilled to the downside this past week right there just about 38 percent according to that fulfilled to the downside dead on as it was projecting you can see the location of price action within it and what the upcoming projection would be from it if price action were to continue to fulfill it then the day of divergence of that same divergence and interchange from the previous intraweek snake started out fulfilling its projection dead on as well. And then price action diverted from it to the upside away from that continued downside fulfillment as it was projecting. So I put it off to the side, but it does appear like price action has converged back with it now after mirroring that downside projection in an upside manner. So if that were to be the case, I am going to keep my eye on this moving forward into this week. And if it was the case, you can see what the projection would be from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it. And there's both of them, so you can see the difference between the two of them moving forward. From a technical perspective, all three tickers, AMC, GME, and SPY, are all three set up exactly the same right now with their macro technical setup. All three of them are sitting on a macro third in my box top methodology and box top schematic as i had previously discussed in the previous update and prep videos both of them are sitting in a double top macro formation with a defined neckline and all three of them are just underneath that neckline so i am looking for one of two things here with all three tickers and their technical setups i'm looking for price action to either retest and reject off of that neckline and release back to the downside for continued downside fulfillment or i'm looking for what i call a compress compact w what i mean by that is a double bottom formation without further breakdown and then essentially sharing the neckline of the macro double top back upside a breach of that neckline for continued upside fulfillment from there for a potential retest of previous tops. So in those scenarios, the significant levels that I am looking at with AMC to the downside, the initial breach to downside will be 470 that I'll be looking at. Then the next level down 430, followed by 380. Back upside, that neckline is at 503, a breach of it. And I'll be looking at 580 followed by 655. And that's everything I am looking at with AMC. Up next is GME. GME finished the day on Friday, regular trading hours, down 2.03%. And then even Steven in after hours, ending the week trading at 1927. The blue day of divergence intro week snake continued to fulfill its projection dead on as I had it placed 
last week in the weekly update and prep video the red day prior to i had to horizontally compress it due to this falling to the downside sooner than where i had it located however i noticed that first thing throughout the week last week when we started uh, falling down out of here off of that top rejection and I was able to compress that and get continued fulfillment of it in that compressed position just like the blue day of divergence so you can see the dead on continued fulfillment of both of them there the location of price action within them and what the projection would be from both of them moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill one of them then from a technical perspective, just like I had previously said, same setup as AMC, a macro third sitting here with this top build out that had been previously discussed with a defined neckline to downside and price action sitting right underneath that neckline. So again, one of two scenarios, either a retest and rejection and release back downside for the continued downside fulfillment or potentially a double bottom compressed compact sharing that neckline for a neckline breach back upside for a potential retest of previous top so in those scenarios to the downside the levels that i am looking at if it rejects off of that 1948 neckline and releases to downside the next level down i'm looking at is 17 dollars followed by 1565 back upside that 1948 or call it 1950 to the upside neckline breach the next level up 2070 followed by 2170 and then the previous top at 2330 and that is everything that i am looking at with gme last but not least is spy spy finished the day on friday regular trading hours up 0.23 percent and then up an additional 0.04 percent in after hours ending the week trading at 40820 the current set of intraweek snakes are on the screen blue is the day of the previous divergence red is the day prior to the previous divergence from and completion of fulfillment of the previous intraweek snake these snakes on spy have been fulfilling their projection now for four consecutive weeks amc's six and a half consecutive weeks and gme is three consecutive weeks you can see the blue day of divergence in its position continuing to fulfill its projection dead on as it was projecting you can see the location of price action within it and what the projection would be from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it then the red day prior to likewise has been fulfilling for the same amount of time and you can see the continued fulfillment of it the position of price action within it and what the projection would be from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it here are both of them so you can see the difference between the two of them and it should be pretty definitive with spy from a technical perspective like i just said two different times the same exact setup as amc and gme a macro third right here the macro third hit and the top build out with that double top build out the defined neckline and the breach down underneath the neckline and spy has been a little bit ahead of both of them where spy has already come back for a retest of its neckline off of this internal ascending level of support but likewise i'm looking for one of two of the same scenarios either a rejection and a release off of that neckline for a continued downside fulfillment or for a potential double top or even from its position currently a breach of that shared neckline back upside for a potential retest of previous top so to the downside the significant levels that i'm keeping my eye on will be the previous bottom here at 404 followed by 400 followed by 396 to the upside that neckline is 40825 followed by 411 and then 417 and that is everything that i am looking at with spy and that is everything i have for this video y'all if you made it to the end of the video i appreciate it greatly don't forget to smash the like button on your way out good luck in the markets this week make some extreme gains for yourselves i will have an update and prep video out again next sunday for the weekly and then i'll be live here on the youtube channel and on the twitch channel next wednesday i'll make sure i remind everybody in next week's weekly update and prep video like i said good luck in the markets this week and enjoy the rest of your sunday fun day in the super bowl if you watch it who do you got in the game let me know go philly i'll talk to y'all on the next one
Later.